Hi, I'm Dr. Dick and this is my kitchen. On today's video, I'm baking and I'm going to be using the mini muffin pan from Pampered Chef. So I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do because it's the first time I'm trying it. I'm using a recipe from the Pampered Chef website and it's called Baked Chocolate Donuts. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to be using the donut pan that is from Pampered Chef. We haven't gotten it yet, but I'll be making mini donut holes. So I hope that you enjoy this recipe as much as I will. I'm going to start my recipe by mixing my dry ingredients and I'm using my batter bowl for this, starting with all-purpose flour. And this has all been pre-measured. Sugar. And don't worry, I'll put the recipe just above the video. Cocoa powder. And my last dry ingredients are baking soda. I'm using the adjustable measuring spoon for this. This right now is half a teaspoon. And I need a quarter teaspoon of salt, so I'm just going to change my setting to a quarter teaspoon. And just as simple as that, my dry ingredients are mixed. I'm just going to give those a quick stir, followed by my wet ingredients. So one egg. Some canola oil. And I've already pre-measured some sour cream. Sour cream really adds a nice moisture to your batter, any kind of batter that you might be doing, and it's pre-measured in my measure all cup. See how easy that comes out. And the last one is milk, just half a tablespoon of milk. And this is just using the normal, <laughs> a bit too much, <laughs> normal measuring spoon. <laughs> Let's put this over here. So I'll start combining these ingredients together perfectly and then we'll uh, use our mini muffin pan to prepare our mini donuts. My batter's all mixed up. All I have left to do is separate it into my mini muffin pan. I've already started spritzing some of my little cups, so I'm just going to finish spritzing the rest using my kitchen spritzer. I have canola oil in here. You can have uh, extra virgin olive oil, any kind of oil that you prefer. So all the little cups are prepared. So now using my small scoop, this one here is one tablespoon. There are two larger sizes. One is a two tablespoon and the other one's a three tablespoon. So I'm just gonna be using my one tablespoon and scooping every little cup. And once I'm done filling my pan, we're just gonna put it in the oven. I finished scooping my batter into my mini muffin pan. Uh, the recipe called for 12 of the donuts from the donut pan, and it seems like it makes 16 of the mini donuts using the mini muffin pan. Uh, I'm just gonna put them in the preheated oven for eight to 10 minutes, and then we'll enjoy our mini donuts. This particular donut recipe asks for a chocolate glaze, so I'll be making that now so that we can glaze our mini donuts once they're ready. So for this, I needed some powdered sugar that I've already measured using my measure all cup. Some cocoa. A bit of milk that I've measured also. And finally, some vanilla. It just asks for one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'll mix everything together so that it gets all well incorporated and then we'll glaze our mini donuts. My mini donuts are done. I've let them cool. I've separated them so that they're all socially distant on my cooling rack. And once they're cooled, I'll be able to glaze them. So we're there now. So let's glaze our mini donuts. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of dip them in and then I'm gonna let them just maybe drip here in my cooling tray until I'm all done, and then we're gonna taste these bad boys. So my mini donuts have been glazed, and the glaze has set a bit. Uh, you can let them set a bit more, but uh, some people also like decorating them, maybe a bit of powdered sugar, it's up to you. I think they're sweet as it is, and they have been baked, not deep fried, so they're healthy. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I did. And uh, this was a first for me for these ones and I can't wait to taste them. We are still raising money for our local food bank. If you purchase any of these items or anything from Pampered Chef, all the proceeds go to the food bank. So thanks for liking our videos. Don't forget to share the videos and stay tuned for our next ones. Thanks for watching everyone.
Let's taste these bad boys. Oh my god. Yeah, this is good. You have to try it out. See you later.